Hi, I'm Jeremy Ashby with Azure Restaurant and Patio, here today to show you our woven shrimp. It's one of our most sought after recipes, one of the recipes that everybody in the restaurant wants me to show. So here we are. We wanted to show our tiger shrimp and also our big secret, the Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale, which makes this, uh, this recipe come together. What we need to do is start with a little bit of flour and some large duck eggs. Crack them right into it. And then the uh, secret ingredient is a little bit of extra coriander. The beer itself lends some nice coriander flavors, which you uh, want to reinforce with the bourbon barrel ale. If you can just mix that into a, a thick paste, you'll be good to go. The other thing that we want to do is use shredded phyllo or katefi. It lends an ultra buttery and rich crust to the outside of the shrimp. As long as you uh, get the ale and batter to a nice smooth consistency, the dish is going to come out perfect time after time. Moving on, shrimp get easily dipped into the batter and then rolled up in our shredded phyllo, giving it the uh, woven effect. It's kind of like a, a, a hairy shrimp that people call it. But um, going to repeat that two times for one portion. and then right into the pan for a nice shallow pan fry. The pan fry is what we want to do instead of a deep fry just so it doesn't get too oily because this is a nice light dish. You can see it fry right up. It's going to give you that big poofy look and great plate presentation. Okay, now once the shrimp reach a nice golden brown on both sides, we can remove them from the pan and let them drain for a moment. For our dramatic plate up, at the restaurant we use a coconut and sweet corn risotto. Uh, these are the combination of ingredients that we use to win the Kentucky Seafood Cook-Off. This uh, dish will also be featured in the National Seafood Cook-Off, so look out for it and come taste it. Shrimp are easily put into the risotto. Nice triangle pattern is good. Uh, threes and fives and odd numbers catch the eye. It makes a great presentation. Uh, we use a red chili and honey sauce to garnish the plate. Nice colors, nice and sweet and spicy. And finally, we uh, add a little green with uh, local Kentucky pea sprouts on top. They're sweet and crunchy, make a great uh, presentation certainly tastes great. Here's our uh, award-winning dish and hope you guys can recreate it at home.